Where is Johnny Cage? Was that a brutality? This is my review for the Mortal Kombat 2020 film, The Restricted Trailer. A. D. N. It's headphones nail! What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a review of sorts, but basically my uh, fanboying over the trailer that came out on Thursday, February 18th for the 2020 film Mortal Kombat, or the 2021 version of the film Mortal Kombat based on the video game. And if you're like me, you've already seen it a bunch of times, um, you've enjoyed it quite a bit. It's insanely crazy, brutal, graphic, very well done for the trailer, very visually appealing, and overall very enjoyable and got me very excited to see how the film turns out. So I'll get the basic part out of the way in that the film is expected to or is currently set to release in theaters and streaming on April 18th. I believe it's on HBO Max, HBO Max, but don't quote me on that. I actually didn't look that part up, but I do remember reading that it is going to start or it's currently set to stream and show in theaters on April 18th. So look out for that. So with that out of the way, I wanted to do a quick recap of the trailer. So essentially we get basically introductory um, images and previews of most of the major characters. I'll get to the, mo the most part in a second, but basically we have the introduction to the Mortal Kombat tournament for all the various people across the earth and that... Um, if you have the Mortal Kombat Dragon Tattoo, that means you were pre-selected for the tournament. Um, we get introductory previews for Sonya Blade, Jax, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. I think I said Jax, but if I didn't, we have Jax. Um, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, um, Goro, Shang Tsung. And what I think looked like a statue, or maybe just the um, uniform on a pole, maybe. And it could have been just, um, um, what's his name standing still? And I'm now I'm drawing a blank on the guy with the, um, skull helmet and the horns and all that. But, um, the main villain from the Mortal Kombat Annih Annihilation film, um, I guess the son of the Emperor. Um, we have a still, sh what looked like a still shot, but I mean, it looked like kind of, um, uh, a more fleshed out version of like the Thanos outfit on the pole after at the end of Endgame or the beginning of or the end of Infinity War or beginning of Endgame so um there was that shot so overall um the bulk of the characters that we know from the Mortal Kombat uh video game the only character that I did not quite see or did not see at all was Johnny Cage so I don't know if they're holding him in reserve or um, they didn't or he's going to be a special character or something along those lines. Um, so that was kind of the weird thing there. Um, I think we also saw Reptile, but I'm not sure on that. I'm going to watch the trailer a couple more times to see if I can square that away. But um, I'm about 50 to 70 percent sure that Reptile is in there as well. But um, we basically get all the various characters getting selected for the tournament. Um, the one feature that I thought was pretty cool and that looked like a brutality, maybe even a fatality, depending on maybe who you ask or at what point in the Mortal Kombat franchise you're looking, but we see, um, Jax's arms getting ripped off. So, uh, pretty, that's why I call it, think of it more of as a brutality, but basically the premise for him getting his metallic arm. So, um, that was gory in its goriness. Um, we see scorpions and, Sub-Zero's special move, so um, Scorpion with the um, snake in his hand and him saying, get over here. We have Sub-Zero and his eyes freezing a gun and then creating a wall of ice and punching. I think Scorpion threw it or some other player threw that wall of ice, so um, a bunch of that. We have uh, Kung Lao creating his um, spear lasso thing and using that against a couple of uh, random fighters, so... Um, probably his um, impetus for getting into the tournament. 
um, maybe initially because he doesn't want to or um, whatever the story is for him getting into the tournament, but we see him using that special move there. Um, we have an action sequence with Goro, so um, that was pretty brief, so we'll see if they pull the same thing like they did in the 1995 Mortal Kombat film and save him as one of the later bosses. Um, we have a couple of talking scenes, or maybe just one talking scene with Shang Tsung. So not too much going there, and then we get a couple of obligatory um, finish him, or a finish him, uh, final battle, victory, and stuff like that. So nothing, or I didn't hear anything saying as far as flawless victory, or the brutality, or fatality, or anything like that. So probably some of, one of those things we're gonna where they're gonna hold that in reserve for the actual movie so it's not spoiled um and actually the one thing that i did really like or was happy about and it's a character i didn't really play so i didn't think about it earlier but we have um kano's action shots and um him using the laser in his eye so it's giving me hope that we're gonna get his um special spinning move as he flies through the air or maybe he's gonna use it like as a basically in a cannonball variant maybe where he jumps off of something um i doubt i mean on one hand i doubt that they're gonna do that but on the other hand it gives me hope that they will do it mostly because we are at a point where we where they could actually set that up and actually um implement that in the film whereas in the 95 mortal kombat film he was he felt kind of like a wasted character because he had the eyeball laser thing maybe a tracking thing kind of set up but they didn't actually use him for anything they implemented or they use his um actual like fighting style and personality in the 95 film but that was about it so it kind of felt like they were setting him up to be a cool character but it didn't really go anywhere so this film actually implements the personality and the laser in the eye so that's kind of what leads me to believe that um, he'll be a, a fleshed out character. Same thing with Sonya Blade. They didn't really show off any of her special moves, so we might get her, um, kissing fatality. Uh, we had Melina using, or licking the blood off of her knife, so we might get her quick, um, knife fatality. Um, I think we saw a picture of Baraka, so they might implement some of that lore, and we'll see how he shows up, maybe as a special character special level or something like that for the characters depending on what they do with the story so overall we get is basically like i said it was introductory character um profiles for a lot a lot of the main characters that i talked about except for baraka they or yeah except for baraka he just showed up as a picture and goro's main like a quick action shot but that was about it so um, overall a good trailer and it actually gives me a lot of good hope that the film is going to be good. Um, I didn't actually have any bad memories overall for the 95 Mortal Kombat film. Um, it wasn't, you know, a perfect video game film of course, but it wasn't as bad as most other films or most other video game films. So, I mean, I'd probably give it like about a C plus maybe, um, B minus at best, I guess, just because overall they did a good job. They implemented a lot of the characters fighting styles and moves and personalities. So, and they did as good as could be considered for the time. It was definitely better than um, Street Fighter for video game comparison. So you could see that they spent more time on the Mortal Kombat film right in a lot less time on the Street Fighter film. So in general, the films of the, of the films at the time, Mortal Kombat does stand out as the, uh, stands out as a better film. So this comparing my memory of the 95 Mortal Kombat film to this trailer, this to the 2021 version of Mortal Kombat looks to be a very good film. So that's all there is for this review. I wanted to basically just get a quick um, fan service review out for everybody now that the trailer's out. So I'll have a link in the show notes for that. Um, the album art is a bunch of screenshots so you can kind of get a look at those character profiles. And I almost forgot about one of the most important characters and that's Raiden. Um, they do show him showing up at via lightning but i think that's about it for and then the, the close-up shot of his eye face with his eyes glowing in electricity um so that's about it they didn't show him fighting it or i didn't see any shots of him fighting so we'll see how they implement him but 
Overall, it seems like it's going to be a good film, or at least they're going to get the um, character profiles and action sequences good. It's hard to see how the story's going to pan out unless they, you know, straight up take the same template from the 95 film, but implement it, the, implement it properly with the special moves, uh, fatalities, brutalities, um, special effects, and all of that, as long as they don't do... Um, well, friendship moves, I'm hit or miss on that, okay, but as long as they do not do um, babalities, then I'm okay there. Babalities was more on the sign side of the 95 version of the film than what it looks like they're doing in this film, so we'll see what they do there. But overall, it looks to be a good film. Uh, very definitely, it looks like it's going to be very well produced, and they're going to get all the special effects in to make that look good and overall more complete. The 95 film was good for the time. I don't want to say it was incomplete or complete, though I may rewatch it just to do a just for comparisons and re refreshing my memory, but from my memory of it, it wasn't incomplete and they did the best they could for the time, so it definitely stands out as an average film now, but for me it stands out above all the other films, so definitely better than Street Fighter and Super Mario Brothers, um, Double Dragon, and I'm sure I'm missing a lot of other games, but um, it does stand out above a lot of the other video game to movie adaptations. So that's all there is for this particular uh, review. So uh, when the movie comes out in April, look out for a review of that then. Um, but for now, we'll have to stick with the trailer. We'll, I don't know if they're going to um, release any other trailers going forward, but um, I look forward to see if... Um, if there are, but I look forward to seeing the film in a couple of months. But um, if you want to have any questions, comments, feedback of your own, fan service of your own, anything I missed from the trailer, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. You can support the show on Patreon as well, patreon.com slash PatelN01 for early access to upcoming content and things like that. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.